as a developer there there are multiple scenarios where we make some configuration in an instance and then we want to move certain sets of updates which are captured uh, from one update set to another update set okay in this case we we usually open each a customer update record we want to move and then change the update set field to a required update set for example if i if i go to the system i will go to local update set and let's create one update set for now so let's create update set called demo demo update set and i will save this out okay and then i will mark it as make this my current set now if there is some other update set right if 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 i go to local update set again and if i want to move updates from for example service catalog builder so there are much there is this update over here so if i want to move it to the my current update set what i have to do i have to just go to the update set which is here by default and change it out to some different update set probably the update set which you have created and this is pretty time consuming when you want to move a set of updates like 10 20 30 updates okay so this is not a reliable practice right so in this tutorial we will be creating a new action using which you can uh, move multiple updates from different updates say to your current update set so let's get started so first of all i will just remove this out and let's just go and create a u action so we'll be creating a u action on update set table okay so you can simply go to u action and i'll be explaining you each and every time how exactly you can do that thing new action will click new because we will be creating a new u action we'll give it a name move to current move to current update set okay and the table table name will be given as mm the update set table name which is subset lies in table sys update xml so we'll be selecting that table so i will be like this just go update xml so this is a table where all the updates are stored okay now we want to create a link uh we'll define action so we'll give the action name and we'll give it as a this should be not doing move i will just give it move active shown in set of the ttt and i want to make it as list choice so i will just mark this as list choice and then let's start writing the code so what you have to do over here i'll give the some hint or some this button is bulk moment of this to current okay now this is done now let's just start writing the first and the foremost step is like you want a current update set reference right so for that what do you have to do variable current update set equal to 
js dot get so store your preference okay js dot get preference and which preference so it says subset that okay this is done the second thing is like we will define a count now the next step is like we'll be gliding over the rec glide records so what we'll be doing variable gr Land record and we will go with the same table. So, subject set, and then we will be, we'll be pulling the current update set. So, it will be GR to get dot get and over here we will be giving. The current update set. Now we got the object of current update set. Now we will simply add a try catch. I will get try. What do you want to try? We want to do current dot set, which will be the current uh, update set, right? At that particular moment. So current dot set value. We are doing what we were doing manually, okay? Just setting the update set name, changing the update set name. We are doing it on multiple records now. What we were changing, update set name, right? Two. Now, as we were changing it manually to different update set, right? Two. We will be changing to the current update set. So we'll do current update set. Now, current dot update. And then we will do dot. So, over here, what we are trying to do is like, first of all, we have taken the current update set. Okay, society will get the suicide out of this. Then, we have just defined account just to get the count how many how many records we want to move okay then what we did we did the glide record okay and just find a uh, created the object of the current update set and then what we are doing whatever updates which are selected right we are just updating the update set field on that particular update to the current update set society Let's add catch also. If there is an error, and over here we will be simply this dot log. Whatever error we we are getting, we will get it in the log and let's add error message. And we will get you can give your password and message for your requirements okay and if everything is successful we we'll simply give it a start and message and give what will the count
updates what how many updates migration is complete And we are done with the code. So let's try it out now. So let's let's take some let's take some update set. So currently we are in demo update set, and if I open this update set out. It should be empty because we just created this update set. Yeah. Okay. It has one new action which we just created. Right. Now what we'll be doing? We'll go to the local update set. And let's try to find some update set which is in global application. Global application. For example, this get reference. So it has multiple entries. We can select multiple over here, multiple records over here, and then if we come at the bottom, right, we get a. We should get an action. You you can see this action. Move to current update set, right? I click on this. Action. And now, if I go to the demo update set, as you can see, all the updates got migrated to this demo update set. So this is how it's pretty simple now to migrate multiple updates from one existing update set to your current update set. Hope you like this video. Okay, and hope you find it useful. and you can implement it in your project just for the ease of migration of updates from one update set to other till then stay safe stay happy please do follow my channel to get latest updates for on this kind of videos in the future till then